welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. We are hanging outside Tokul, which is where the Enterprise was left. And now we need to take our ship up here to Castle Argus. Now, if you remember, I was unable to get a couple treasure chests in here because... They were under key locked, or whatever, they were locked up. And I needed to get a magic key in order to get them. So, that sucked. Let's see if I can get back to where those were. Because I would like to get that treasure now. Screw you guys. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm looting, looting your whole castle. Damn it, it wasn't here, was it? It was through the secret passage that led to the secret passage that led to another secret passage that led to the secret rooms that were locked. I know you game. Yeah, it was this way. There we go. Up through here. And we can head back into these towers. I know you're back here, towers. The door is locked, but I have obtained magic keys. I've got five of them. I'm going to be using two. You open the lock. Uh, mostly because I refuse to get a thief. I'm not, I've never been a big fan of thieves. I think I mentioned that before. What's up? I'm a researcher. We've been trying to recreate the formula for the mysterious elixir. So far, we've been able to make two flasks. Here, they're yours. I got two elixirs. Awesome. Hey, hey. There we go. I saw that crack. I knew there had to be a switch somewhere. Somewhere around here. Over here we get light arrows, killer bow, and medusa arrow. Do I only get one of those? Let's check the second one here. Uh, now you get 20. Gradual petrification, nice. So we could have used that earlier. There's still, it's still pretty good equipment, but this is definitely something that we could have gotten earlier and would have helped us out. So if you got a thief, feel free to break into here when we first arrived at Castle Argus. I use the other magic key. Open the lock. Oh damn! Look at all this. Get fire arrows. A book of ice, another book of ice, I should say. A book of light, another book of light, another book of fire. So now we got two of each of the books. Ice arrows and a scholar robe, which I already grabbed one. So I don't need. Like, who has a two scholar party? Like scholars are awesome, but I don't want two. It's like saying I want two geomancers. It, it might work, but yeah, I like a varied party. Okay, so let's head back into the main part of the castle. And we can go up and talk to the king. After talking to these guys, his continent is aloft. We're living on the floating continent. Yes, we've gone over this. The Wheel of Time. In the days of old, it was called the Perpetual Engine. Sure, let's bring perpetual motion into the game. Why not do that? Thank you for saving King Argus, warriors of the light. You're welcome. The right mouse candelabra is the switch that opens the hidden passage. We we did that already. Why would you say that? <laughs> thieves has the ability to open locked doors without using a key. I have keys. And I don't want to use a thief. Thank you, young ones. Your brave actions have brought peace to our kingdom once again. Here, take this with you. It is the August family heirloom. The Wheel of Time. A box created by the powerful ancients. Bring it to Sid and Kanan. This must be what Sid needs to build another airship. We'll be able to go to the surface world. So you have already met Sid. Then you know what you must do. Go forth, warriors of the light! And we get the Wheel of Time. Awesome. So, we're pretty much done here. <laughs> I mean, we went all this way. We rescued all their stuff, and they give us the Wheel of Time, which we must give to somebody else before we can get a full full reward for what we have done. So let's 
head out of Castle Argus. We are done here. And we can head over to Canaan. Which is way the fuck over here, if you remember right. Over to the right, back to the land of Canaan, which is biblical, but Sid does not care. He makes it his home. Isn't Canaan biblical? I swear it was. So let's enter the town. This is where Canaan is. Yes, it is. Oh, Moogle, do I have any mail? Female. No. Can I send mail? No, it hasn't been an hour yet. I do need to get that Onion Knight little quest done very, very soon. Like, probably sometime this video, I believe. Okay, so. Which one was Sid's house? Was it this one? I swear it was a blue house for some reason. Yeah, it's not this one. It's been a long time since we've been in Canaan. You'll have to forgive me if I don't remember every nook and cranny of the place. Ah, it's this one, I believe. Way up here in the corner. Yes, it is. What's up, Sid? How you doing? We got a wheel of time for you. Wheel of time. So you've met King Argus. All right, then. It's time to get to work. I'll turn your Enterprise into a brand new airship. It's going to just change the Enterprise. Sounds kind of lazy to me. Just, hey, build us an airship. It's done. Press the A button to turn the Enterprise into an airship. What fourth wall? Never heard of such a thing. Remember, though, you can only land in water. It was a sea ship to begin with, you know? Now you can finally get away from the flowing continent back to our own world. What? Our own world? What do you mean? I guess it's time you knew the truth. You four and I are not from this world, this floating continent. What? We're special. Ten years ago, I was flying my airship, filled with passengers. It seemed to be a day like any other, until... Suddenly, the airship was engulfed in an impenetrable darkness. The darkness is impregnable. No! Next thing I knew, my airship was in pieces. We had crashed. And things were aflame everywhere I looked. No! It's gonna be okay. The only survivors, aside from myself, were you four. You probably don't remember. You were only little kitties then. So hey! Everybody's over ten. That That is older than I honestly thought for a second there. <laughs> I don't know what happened to our world after the darkness came, but you, you must go and find out! You've been chosen as warriors of the light. I know you'll make it! So awesome, let us head out and check out our fancy new airship that'll take us back home, apparently. We are all orphans, because we are from a different world. If he didn't say exactly how old we are, but if, if he's saying little kitties, you know, we've, we've got to be younger than, like, 15. All right, what button does it? There we go. Look at that. Let that thing lift off and just start. Hovering around? We, can we go over? No. Damn you. I wanted to go over the mountains, but no, even even right now, they won't let you do that. So you'll have to excuse me for one second. Okay, in order to get the Onion Swordsman, which honestly I should be able to get at this time. Uh, okay, I can't send the mail to the... To, the, to my friends, because, like I said, I don't have seven friends up other game. So, putting in a cheat code, just enough to get me, uh, that, that it says that I sent it to seven friends. So, now what we need to do is send and receive four messages from Tobapa. I did send another one just now. Let's see if he's already responded. He, I did get one back. Uh, a traveling merchant came to Ur the other day. He was riding a chocobo. They're fine steeds indeed. So now, I believe I have to fiddle um, with the clock <laughs> in order to get this done a little bit faster. So hold on while I do that so I can get more, more mail. Okay, send another mail out 
to Topapa, so let's see if we got another one back. I did get the children of her. Recently, the children have started to play farther and farther away from her. While I praise their adventurous spirits, I worry that it will lead them to trouble. Awesome. Just one more to go! And wow, that hour seemed to just fly by, so I sent another mail to Topapa, and we should have received our fourth response from him. The children are in trouble. The children have now come back from their recent exploration trip. We have searched as far as er from Ur as we dared, but we could not find them. It sounds like we need to go help out as best we can. So let's go ahead and get into our spiffy new airship and head to the town of Ur. Okay, let's end. There we go. Really, in the Japanese game, th this did not exist. You started with the Onion Knight as the starting class. You didn't have to. You didn't have to do any of this. Any of this in order to get Onion Swordsman. They didn't have such a thing. Really? Really? I can't land in the lake. I have to, l I have to land in the ocean and then just walk up. That's crazy. So yeah, you just started with the Onion Knight instead of the, the Freelancer. So it's just a quick walk back to Ur, if you remember that was the first time that we were in. And then we can talk to Topapa there and he can tell us how to get the Onion Swordsman class. I think it's Onion Swordsman. Right, he's the one that gave us something. I believe it's Onion Swordsman in this game and not Onion Knight. I've always known it as Onion Knight. Either way... We're gonna get it this time. Since the children have gone to the altar cave, could you go look for them? Sure! So we need to head to the cave. Shouldn't be too difficult. I believe that the... The monsters are about level 15 or so, somewhere around there. And the last boss that we fought was level 22, so... I am not too concerned about leveling up or anything like that in order to get this Onion Swordsman class. And... Is it... I think it's just straight down here. I don't think there's any trick to, to getting them. I think we just have to fall down the hole that Abel fell in. You know, the obvious hole. Oh, see, look, they're even going to tell us what's happening. There they are, they're down... Oh, snap, right by the hole. Not down the hole, though. I don't like the looks of this. Let's go help them. Hey, why don't you take on someone your own size, huh? You guys are the same size as the kids. Just saying. So we're up against three bombs. Three bombs. Alright, let's go ahead and attack. You use terrain. You just attack and you attack. We haven't had a chance to see Novin just do melee attack. Earthquake, please tell me this hits them. Damn. <laughs> Down they all go. Novin is overpowered. It's awesome. Thank you for being in my party, Novin. We get 330 gal, 300 experience. Uh, Bloon, though, when when Bloon hits with those with those books, it does about 600 damage. <laughs> it's insane. It does more damage than anybody else. <laughs> Thanks, Novin. They knew who did it. They knew who won that battle. I never thought that you of all people would be the one who'd save us. They should teach you to stray too far from inhabited lands. Be more careful. Come on, let's go back to Ur. Hey, Novin, we found this, but you can have it. See, yeah, it is still just Onion Knight. Uh, I've heard people call it the Onion Swordman, and that angered me greatly. So, there you go. You can change the Onion Knight. I have it. I am not going to do that because, let's face it, the Onion Knight sucks, just like the Freelancer sucks. But... If you get it, if you get the job level up to the 90s, then all of a sudden the Onion Knight becomes some of the, the one of the best out there. So I might do that in a special episode. But here's how you get it if you guys want to do it some other time. And it looks like that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I've been Ballas Scuba. I've been joined as always by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.